When the schedules are released, all eyes get drawn to Manheim Central, Cacalico. When are they playing? Well, it's tonight here on Blue Ridge 11. They had Sut on that last throw, but he's got him again. Sets fire, sidearms it, and Bodie Seifel on the catch at the 45-yard line. A nine-yard catch for Seifel. His eighth reception of the season. Yeah, I mean, a year ago, first teamer at, at wide receiver. I mean, he's a two-year letter winner and a, and a captain of the team, so he knows what it's like to play in big, big game situations, and there he comes up with a great catch over the middle of the field where he knows he's going to get hit by one of those inside linebackers. Wow. Coach Hahn not being here defensively doesn't affect as much as it does on the offensive side. Appenet gets a good block from Longenecker, and Gives the Eagles a first down out at the 47 yard line, a 13 yard gain and a fresh set of downs. And you know, and I was looking at it. Lightning. No, oh, yep, I heard some thunder. So they are going to be clearing the field and also clearing out the bleachers. Yeah, everybody's got to go. And you know, the, while they do that, you know, I'm looking at the stats and one thing that jumped out at me was that neither team is getting turnovers. Cacalico coming into the game tonight at minus one. Right. As was Man I'm Central. And these are two teams that defensively thrive on the turnovers. Yeah. Roll the dice. We're going to try and get it in here tonight. Hopefully, it'll be a short period of time before we can resume to more high school football. But hopefully, we're good to go for, for the rest of the game. All right. And we are set to resume action. So here we go. Man I'm Central. After getting the turnover on first down, it's going to be Bryson Arnold. He'll get to the 49, a tough two yard pickup. It's going to be interesting to see. Try and keep that football dry or footballs dry throughout the game. Again, Hahn flushed out of the pocket on the run, throwing it for the end zone, and the pass is broken up. It's got to be Nash again. It was. He's a heck of a pass defender. I mean, he's uh, always in good position. He reaches in with his left arm. He's got his right arm around the side, just hacks down at the arm of Ederline and, and uh, knocks the ball out. So great play by Nash. Toss to Epinet. Braden Epinet stays on his feet and falls to the 41 of Manheim Central. Good job by the receivers on the outside. Longenecker, I believe, and the wide receiver. Sola out there just making, making sure that this corner is sealed. And Epinette does a good job of going outside and then back to the inside for a big pickup. Meyer's going to keep, turn it inside, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. Real nice read by Josh Meyer. Well, they kept running that inside trap play. This time they fake it to Steffi, and then Meyer pulls it as the defensive tackles for Mannheim Central try to take away that trap play. Myers has a big hole off the right side. Really goes in untouched into the end zone, six yards. Arnold up the middle. And Kukalico saying the ball is loose, and there is Tim Porter with the ball. Second fumble recovery for Porter on the season. And Kukalico will get the ball first and ten. Third and two. Steffi. Steffi is in. Oh. Touchdown, Sam Steffi from 13 yards out. Good run by Steffi. Came back to the counter play. I don't know if it's a trap. We'll get a chance. It is a trap play again. And uh, they've been very successful. The defensive tackles for Mannheim Central not closing down enough. Uh, just gave Steffi a little bit of a lane there. And Here it is second and four. Meyer to Steffi. Hole off the right side, weaving his way across the 40, still on his feet. Following the blocks, Sam Steffi to the 19-yard line. 
He goes Ooh. from 119 to the other 19. What a great run by Steffi. He ran out of gas there, you can see it, but breaks a couple of tackles inside. Gets some blocking down the field. Turns a good, good ball security there. Harry, that's what stands out. Yeah. Meyer, he Go cuts on. it inside and he will go for the touchdown. Again, great call. I, I'm really not sure where the defender is who is responsible for the quarterback, but Coach Stroll, whether he's sending Steffi through to block him, the Meyer has been unstoppable on that quarterback keeper. He just gave Epinet a little hug there, so he must have made a nice block down downfield. Following her in there. Or Horning, excuse me, leading the receiver side over there. Horn looking right. Steps, fires, wide open, caught for the Sonny. touchdown. Sonny Callahan, his first reception of the season, and it's good for six. Nice, nice play design. They run a little crossing route. Thought for sure they were going to give to Ederline. They brought Ederline back across the field, and Callahan just finds the open space in the left corner of the end zone, and Hahn does a good job of getting the ball to him and putting Mannheim Central on the board. The Calico is going to try to grind it out and hopefully break a big one to get him down in the scoring position. Second and six, Longenecker on the toss, has the outside. First down, slips to the defender. Being chased, stays on his feet. Aaron Longenecker, touchdown to Calico. Again, great blocks on the outside. Longenecker does a nice job of going out, little wiggle, sticks his left foot in the ground inside the block and then outruns the defense. The thing about it is, Eric, is that everybody from Mannheim Central is within seven yards of the ball, so it's really tough to get an angle on Longenecker from the backside. Defensive uh, corner needs to squeeze a little bit more. They need a little bit more pursuit, but Longenecker, what a big play for Kakalico and an answer. I don't count that. Mannheim Central leads the series 21-5. Pass outside to Seipel, first down. Seipel slips the defense. Bodie Seipel's got a blocker downfield. Being chased, Wangenecker finally gets him at the six yard line. Wow, just a simple out, out route by the number two receiver, Seipel. He's a good receiver. He's kind of overlooked sometimes, I believe, in the offense. Made a great catch and run it. Takes the ball down. Inside the 10 yard line gives Mannheim Central an opportunity to put seven on the board. There he got some help. Asher Cook with a downfield block to help him out. Just a simple throw and catch. Longnecker got a cramp. Both teams still with two timeouts. Jet sweep, which is unheard of. Armin on second and goal will spring to the outside for the touchdown. This is that's the play that has been working for Mannheim Central. They've tried to run inside, inside, but they've had Marmel's have most of his success when he gets it to the edge. And here gets a good block from Dumbach. And Arnold turns that into seven points for Mannheim Central. Outruns Bollinger on the inside. Final play of the first half. And they'll go straight ahead to Steffi to the 45 yard line and that will indeed end the first half. A quiet first quarter, a very loud second quarter. 42 points in the second quarter and as they head to the locker room, it's Cacalico 28, Mannheim Central 14. Back at Eagle Stadium in Denver, halftime, Kakalika with a 28 to 14 lead over the Mannheim Central Barons. Uh, you can see that people have uh, emptied out. There has been another weather alert. So we have reached halftime here in Denver, 28 to 14 in favor of Kakalika. And just as the first half ended, the officials did step in and put the game into 
uh, a weather alert, a suspension mode, and then it was just announced a couple of minutes ago that the game has been suspended until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. back here in Denver at Eagle Stadium.